His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged congratulatory cables with the leaders of Arab Islamic and friendly countries on the 2024 New Year. His Majesty extended his congratulations to them on the occasion, wishing them abundant health and happiness, as well as further growth and prosperity to their countries and people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Sudan's head of the Transitional Sovereignty Council, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah Al Burhan Abdel Rahman Al Burhan, on the occasion of his country's Independence Day. His Majesty wished Al Burhan abundant health and happiness and the Sudanese people security, prosperity, and stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged congratulatory cables on the 2024 New Year with world leaders, Crown Princes and Prime Ministers of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries. His Royal Highness congratulated them on the occasion, wishing them abundant health and happiness and further growth and prosperity to their countries and people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Sudan's head of the Transitional Sovereignty Council, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah Al Burhan Abdel Rahman Al Burhan, on his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness wished Al Burhan abundant health and happiness and the Sudanese people security, prosperity, and stability. In implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to expand the Government Land Development Rights Program and implement eight additional projects in partnership with the private sector during the years 2023 to 24, the Minister of Housing and Planning, Amna Ramehi, announced the launch of bids for the provision of 123 new housing units within the Government Land Development Rights Program in partnership with the private sector, 76 units in Al Bahir, 40 seven units in Hurat Senad. Ramehi said that the proposal to implement housing units comes in support of the positive results achieved by the program since its launch as its experimental phase represented by the Suhail housing project witnessed a remarkable turnout of citizens. She added that the bidding to provide 123 residential units in Al Bahir and Hurat Senad includes the implementation of residential units with building areas of up to 220 square meters the minister stated that the ex acceleration in the pace of implementation of the projects included in the government land development rights program coincides with the high demand by citizens for the housing financing program of various types. She affirmed that the next phase will witness more projects that will be put forward for implementation within the program in a manner that enhances its gains and provides a base of diverse units for beneficiaries of financing services. The Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Tawfiq, affirmed that the Support and Services Directorate at the Youth Ministry has launched electronic services for youth empowerment centers, which will contribute to organizing youth empowerment centers administrative in line with the policies of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, led by His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work in Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Tawfiq noted that the Ministry aims to permanently develop the work for youth empowerment centers by launching electronic services, tapping into modern technologies, offering digital transformation solutions and improving the performance levels and administrative processes of youth empowerment centers. The minister emphasized that the youth empowerment centers in Bahrain's governorates are an ideal place to embrace the energies of the youth, invest in their talents and equip them with the skills and expertise they need to contribute to the kingdom's development. In the year 2023, the Kingdom of Bahrain was able to make a number of achievements and receive commendation for organizing the largest exhibitions in the Kingdom. The Bahrain International Exhibition Center was able to win many international awards since its inauguration, raising the Kingdom's status globally. The Kingdom organized many Gulf and international events and festivals. El Dana Theatre was able to attract outstanding performances from around the world and the most famous artists. Bahrain also won many titles, the most notable of which was the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs as Haile Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa's winning first place in the World Endurance Championship. Bahrain also attracted major sporting events such as Formula One and hosted the Brave International Combat Week. The Kingdom also won many championships and gold medals notably in the 19th Asian Games held in China. 
The Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, Derasat, made remarkable achievements in 2023. The center was able to gather an elite group of local and international participants during its various activities and initiatives, such as the 6th Derasat Forum, and with the participation of an elite group of representatives of research and study centers and a number of experts, media professionals, and specialists in supporting policymakers locally and internationally. The center also launched international reports as a culmination of extended partnerships between the relevant organizations and the Darasat Center. It also contributed to the preparation of a number of national scientific publications related to sustainable development in Bahrain, in addition to offering a number of seminars and lectures locally and internationally. In order to make knowledge sources available to various groups of researchers, the center published a number of books and launched the Darasat Digital Library. Within the 11th Farmers Market season, which is organized by the Ministry of Municipal Affairs and Agriculture in the Budaya, a botanical garden, productive families participate in the market on a weekly basis within the support of the Ministry of Social Development to present their products. I'm only in the country for a few weeks visiting my family, and so we enjoyed a wonderful breakfast. Then we had a lot of fun at the children's area. We spent most of our time there actually with uh, the children. And then I've really enjoyed the crafts. Came here for shopping in the Saturday market, farmer's market. It's a very nice experience, very enjoyable. And uh, it's like a weekend uh, out, uh, outlet for the family. Yeah, this season I came first day today. Uh, last season maybe I visited five, six times. Good, very good. Uh, the, they have increased the facilities and the kids' play area has been increased. And the stalls also, I see an increase in the number of stalls also. Very good. As a culmination of the successes of the Bahrain holiday season, a number of companies sponsoring this season's events organized several fireworks displays in various areas of the kingdom to celebrate the success of the season with the conclusion of its activities yesterday evening. The fireworks display was supervised and arranged by supporting companies from the private sector. The Bank of Bahrain and Kuwait has organized an area on Karbaba Beach near Bahrain Fort to watch the displays, while Festival City has designated an area in Water Garden City and GFH Financial Group has organized an area to watch fireworks in Bahrain Harbor. Betelco also allocated an area for watching fireworks this year in Bahrain Bay, El Busaitin and Asaya, while Babco Energies also provided areas designated for watching fireworks at the Corniche and the Saada Seafront. As for Marasi Bahrain, it allocated the entire Marasi Beach for watching the fireworks.